Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how can we use a correlation coefficient to interpret the strength and direction of a linear relationship. So here's our setup. In a particular city park, there has been a problem with muggings in the summer months. A police cadet took a random sample of 10 days and compiled the following data. For each day, X is representing the number of police officers on duty in the park, and Y represents the number of reported muggings on that day. So just jotting that information down for myself, X is the number of police, and Y is the number of muggings. What does it tell the cadet that when, a or when the linear regression is run, we get a correlation coefficient of negative 0.593. Interpret this in terms of the problem. Okay, so first let's just interpret that correlation coefficient. Remember that correlation coefficient goes from negative one to one. Zero means no correlation. Negative one means a very strong negative correlation and positive one is a very strong positive correlation. And then we of course have shades of gray in the middle, right? So a negative 5.93 is kind of in the middle of the negative spectrum. So that means we would call this a moderate moderate negative linear relationship. Okay, so what does that mean in the context of the problem? Well, we know that a negative linear relationship, if we think about a scatter plot, means that as x increases, y decreases. And a moderate relationship means that they're generally going in the same direction, they're generally following the line, but they're a little bit more scattered. So it's not a super, super strong relationship, but it is noticeable. So in this case, in the terms of the problem, as there are more police in the park, the number of muggings decreases moderately. All right, guys, so that's one example of interpreting a correlation coefficient and telling what that has to do with the situation at hand. More videos coming soon. Until then, catch you next time.